show you how to make a code backup. That is a backup you make when the database is not running. So let's CD to our media. Prepare folder. And I'll make a directory here. Shall call scripts. Let's see it to scripts. Now I'll VI into code. I want to make the script to make the code backup. A backup you make when the database is not running, which is consistent. I mean, the back this backup is consistent as compared to the old backup which you made when the database is running. Okay. Code underscore backup. Now you have to pull this in the script. Now we run. Coily bracket. You're doing a backup. If your database logs archive log. That's the script you're gonna use to do a code backup. This is a backup you take while the database is not running. So let's quit and save this. Let's cut our code backup. See what we have there. This run backup database plus archive block. That's what we want. Now we have to call our Rman too. You know, Rman is a tool we use in doing backups. It's like a database tool. It comes while you do your installation. And that'll be Rman forward slash target. That's the way you call your Armen. Let me do that one more time. I guess that. So Armen target or slash. And it says your target to Connected to target database board one, not open. So that's the way you call your Armen. And if you want to exit this, just click on your exit. Says Armen manager complete. Well, let's check if our database is up. So there's your SQL plus. See our database is done. When we take in a code backup, we have to shut the database down. And we start up at mount, then we can do our backup. So let's do shut down immediate. This database not open, database dismantled. Okay. Oracle instance shut down. So let's go to our host. 
Now let's go to Harman. To do a back of Harman target. No. Let's log in back into our database and start it up at mount stage. That's the first thing we do. Says DBA. And you start up mount. Now we've started the database up in the mount stage. Now we can do our backup. Let's go to host and let's do our main target for slash. to call our Harman 2 and we can do uh, the script where you have the script code underscore backup don't forget to check that to be sure we have the right thing there the script we created yeah, it's code underscore backup This is starting back up, backing up the data files. Starting piece one. This is backup cancel because there are no database to back up. This is still running. You can see system data file, the six of the on the table space, the user oh one database file. I'm backing up the files. If you can see yes, it's Piece and do FRA one backups board one backup set and you have the date right here and this is the tag number. This is the backup set complete elapsed time finish backup for this. Does not match any account. This is a new database, I really don't have much on it. This is starting control for SP5 auto backup this and here you have end of file now. We're done with the backup, that is the code backup. So let's exit this and check the location it gave us. So let's see it to copy this right here. And this is where you're gonna get the file to an LS. Now you see the date there, and if you want to view, uh, let's do the city. Let's do an LS. And you see the tag file there. The tag file you have here is the same thing you have on this port. And this is your backup file, or a code backup. Out backup that means backup with tech while the database is off and running. It's a similar process to what we did the other time. So let's cd to our media share folder and ls. Let's see it to our scripts. We have the code back of there. Now let's create that of the old back of we have the VI part backup. So let's edit this. 
to do a run curly bracket I'll be back up database first archive archive log so it is on the same line with this uh, we quit and save this now let's log into our database to be sure it's up and running Let's just select open underscore mode from V server database. Uh, made a mistake. Uh, okay, select open from V database. Is read and write that means our database is open now let's go to our host and call our our main to do our main target file slash and we can do uh uh and let's go back up Starting back up, see the time. That's running. And we'll let this run. So, to so take the uh, code back up, just, you have to shut down the system for the other backup. The system must be up and running. And the data file, the system change number will not be consistent for the odd backup so we'll let this run till it shows us that we're done with the backup and you see the piece and that's the default location where you're gonna get a backup file it's gonna be fre1 backups or the one backup set and you see the date and this is the tag number for the backup so if you want to do restoration, you need a tag number. You can apply that to restore your database or to recover your database either way. Now we're done with the backup. Sys end of file. And you see the location for the end of piece, right, and the tag number. So Backup set is complete. You see the time, you see the time for the current archive log for the control file and the SP file. You see that, so it says you have the time there. So let's do exit and we go check. Uh, you can see it to this location right here to see. And now you can see the two backups we did initially. Let's check the tag number for this. It's 19313 C154515, which you have it right here. So, this is the location of the backups we've done today all you need is the tag number and for this the, the backup for um, the data files the other backup for the data files you see the tag number is different from this so you, if you come here you can see for the for the uh, data files you have the 54225 which is right here so that's it about doing the odd backup and the code backup thank you